Hey everybody, welcome to Northwoods Engineered. Today I'm going to be showing you the stand that I built to hold our stovetop oven combo inside of our cargo trailer camper conversion. If you haven't seen the video for the whole trailer build, I'll link that uh, in the description and uh, up above as well, so check that out. But today I will be focusing on the stand that I'm showing you right here. So to come up with how I was going to build the stand for the oven, MakerPipe sells these little model kits that actually 3D print the end connectors and then you just use like coffee stir straws. So I got that first and just built a little model of what I was going to do. So that's kind of cool. You can figure out how many connectors you need, which type you need, and then uh, have an idea of how much conduit you're going to need. So that was the first step I came up with and it actually ended up being very similar to the, the way I had it the model kit. So at the front of our cargo trailer we have it's a v-nose and I had originally just had a solid countertop all the way across. Uh, didn't have this hole in it. I'll show what it used to look like. Um, and we would set just like a folding camp stove in the middle. But I had this stove uh, on my first trip when I went to Alaska. I had that mounted. That was kind of more of like a permanent mount. Um, I'll show a clip of what that used to look like as well. And I wanted to be able to use this stove and oven combo uh, with the removable countertop. So um, from there, I designed and made a stand out of conduit. Uh, I used maker pipe connectors again, which I've used in some of my other projects. Uh, for my awning, I use them. Um, they're pretty handy, super quick to, to build with out of conduit. And it's nice because if you screw something up, uh, it's not welded, so you can take it apart. Uh, it originally was silver, just uh, you know, bare conduit. I spray spray painted the whole thing black. Uh, I saw a video that uh, Maker Pipe posted where rather than spray painting individual pieces, uh, they spray painted it once it was all assembled, and that was a, that was a really good idea. It made things way easier. It's a lot simpler than hanging all the individual pieces. So I've got this rack which goes in and fits in here and uh, will hold the stove so then it will come out pretty quick just like the countertop uh, when we need to use the trailer uh, for other things. So I'll show you how I mount it. Uh, right now I just take off the top pieces. I'm going to flip it upside down. Then I'm going to take the stove upside down as well. Like that. And then I'm just using two whole conduit straps. I, uh, I pre-drilled the holes in here so I've had it on once already. Other than the four mounting points on the bottom, I did want to have something on the back. Uh, it was a little more difficult because there's uh, some stuff on the back. There's the copper tubes for the gas, and then there's also the propane tank that's here. So I couldn't really run a straight bar all the way across. So I screwed on another one of these. It's, it's like a broom holder clip. And then I just have a piece of conduit coming off the one side so I can twist that in and uh, tighten that connector and that gives it a little a little more rigidity forward and backward and then to kind of attach it to the um, countertop I have these spring clips that will go on each side of the the conduit on the two sides of the stove so that will uh, just kind of clamp right in there. Eventually I plan on building a new set of countertops that fold away and against the wall. Um, so hopefully I can work on that one of these days but for now I'm just going to leave the, the plywood one. So 
So it goes like that. And then to hold it down on the bottom, I put in some T-nuts into the floor. So those are quarter 20 T-nuts. And they're the type that screw in. So I didn't want the ones that pound in because those might pull out. So I got the ones that screw in. And then what I've got is I just take the single hole conduit straps and put it in three spots like this. And then just a, a Phillips head quarter 20 and tighten that down in three spots. And that'll hold it pretty solid. So between those and um, being attached to the countertop with the with the spring clips, it works pretty well. So uh, this is really nice to have. Uh, it's got the two burners on the top, and it's got the oven. So we use that for various things when we're camping, making cookies or banana bread or whatever. But it's pretty nice. So. Thanks for watching my video today. Hopefully you enjoyed the content and that it might help you out if you're working on something similar. Uh, check out my other videos I have, a few different ones on, my, on this camper as well. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a nice day.